2017 was an incredible year for photography. So many strong products came to market with new features and refinements to help image makers express themselves, tell their stories, and elevate the medium. Today, we're taking a look at our top cameras for 2017 and offering a tiny peek into what's around the corner in the new year. In January, Fujifilm announced their long-rumored entry into digital medium format with the GFX 50S. About the same size as a full-frame DSLR, the camera boasts a 50 megapixel 43.8 by 32.9 millimeter CMOS sensor with Fuji's X Processor Pro, bringing the very best of the company's incredible film-like color profiles. Now, a system is only as good as its lenses, and in less than a year, the GFX offers wide-angle, standard, portrait, macro, and even a fast wide to normal zoom lens. And we love the utilitarian design, which allows you to remove the EVF, swap batteries from the side, and speed up your raw workflow with the new Fuji X-RAW Studio software. March was all about the Panasonic GH5, 12 frames per second shooting, dual memory card slots, five stops of in-camera image stabilization, a larger refined hand grip. For the still shooter, there's plenty about the GH5 that screams pro, but for video and moving image makers, this is where the camera really shines. The GH5 shipped with 10-bit video recording, but with a firmware update, the camera has gained 400 megabit capture, anamorphic 6K, hybrid log gamma HDR, and a battery that gives you over three hours of video recording or over 400 RAW plus JPEG stills, making the GH5 the most complete micro four thirds camera to date. Spring continued the pro camera rollout with the introduction of the Sony A9, the 693 point autofocus system, 20 frames per second burst shooting, an incredibly deep buffer, have made the A9 the first truly professional mirrorless camera for sports and action shooters. Also, the electronic shutter is giving shooters the first ever photos made in the backswing without the wobbly look associated with older designs. Summer brought the release of Canon's Rebel SL2. Small, lightweight, and capable have always been the hallmarks of the Rebel line. With the SL2, Canon added an excellent very angle touchscreen display, Dual Pixel AF brings fast and accurate autofocus in both photo and video. So whether you're a budding photographer or a new filmmaker, the Rebel SL2 has you covered. Compatibility with over 130 million EF lenses that Canon's made since 1987 certainly simplifies expanding your visual horizons. In August, Nikon essentially dispelled any doubt about the future of the DSLR with the announcement of the D850. Imagine the speed of Nikon's sports and action D5 with a 45.7 megapixel sensor. This is the highest resolution camera that Nikon has ever shipped. Now imagine all of that in a modular, easy to build up, easy to break down form factor. The D850 can shoot up to seven RAW plus JPEG images body only, or up to nine frames per second with the optional grip. 4K UHD recording, 120 frames per second HD for slow motion round out the camera's professional video features. I love the camera's touchscreen. Just like on the D5, you can scroll through your photos using the edge of the screen. Sony turned heads with the introduction of the Ultra Compact RX0. Borrowing technologies from the RX100, it pairs a large 15.3 megapixel one inch sensor with a sharp 35 millimeter equivalent lens. On the photo side, the RX0 boasts 16 frames per second burst shooting, while video is available in UHD 4K, as well as all the standard HD flavors. Highly durable, the RX0 can survive a fall from your hands and is even waterproof up to 33 feet. No one complained about the incredible image quality of the Sony a7R II. So in November, many of us were wondering what would be the compelling upgrades for the new a7R III. Refinements like a higher capacity battery, AF joystick, and massively improved autofocus system add up to a high resolution, pro-grade camera that gives the shooter greater ease of use, super speed, and shooting confidence. Sony even added an extra stop of dynamic range, taking the A7R 3 to 15. That puts the camera in the running for the highest DR available today. Okay, some honorable mentions for 2017. The Canon 6D Mark II the Fujifilm X-E3, the Leica CL, the Nikon D7500. Now in the coming year, you can bet we'll see more great cameras arrive here at B&H. Early in 2018, we're expecting the Panasonic G9. That's got the same great weather ceiling as the GH5, plus a top LCD info screen, 
a 0.83x magnification in the viewfinder, that's the largest ever in a micro four thirds camera, and pixel stitching. Now this shifts the sensor, combining five exposures into a 40 or even an 80 megapixel photograph. In electronic shutter mode, the camera can fire up to 20 frames per second with no blackouts. This seems to be an offering main for the most demanding of stills photographers. So what about you? What was your favorite camera for 2017? Did it make our list? Let us know in the comments below. I'm photographer David Flores. See you next time.